What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. Hey, so today is finally the day, man. You read the title. It's Tune Day. So, uh, basically, I got everything on my checklist done to get tuned. Um, a little backstory I'll get into later in the video. But for now, I'm at my shop now. I'm getting ready to head to the tuner. Tuner's about 35 minutes away from my shop. So, uh, yeah, get ready. Hit at least 600. You feel me? You feel me, Clutch Kizzle? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So, yeah, we aiming for 600, man. So, I'll see you when we get there. Oh, to another little backstory. Um, so, today is March 18th. I was actually supposed to get tuned last month, February 19th. But what happened was I upgraded my injectors, which I didn't plan on doing a video about that. Which is why you guys didn't know that that went horribly wrong. Uh, <laughs> some of the seals that the, they were brand new. The seals that came with it were I don't know if they were bad or the wrong fit, but I was just leaking fuel. By the time I got the fuel situated, it had an air leak in the fuel line or in the fuel rail. And then when I got that situated, it was ten o'clock. So I literally, I mean, I texted my tuner and told him I wasn't gonna make it, but basically that held me up because I tried to do it the same day. So, a month later, now we ready. So, yeah, I'm excited. Clutch Kizzle, you know what I'm saying? What you thinking, man? What kind of numbers you, 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 you what's, what's your guesstimates? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see why you couldn't get a 600. Team 600, <laughs> let's get it. Yes, sir. So he's, uh, he's going through his preliminaries, hooking up the laptop. Uh, some stuff I didn't show. I put the new spark plugs in there. He gapped them for me. He set up all his wires and connectors. Y'all know the drill by now. The new color is looking real splendiferous in the tune shop. You feel me? So, yeah, man. Stay tuned. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get the numbers that I'm looking for. So, I mean, it's got to make a minimum of what it made before. So, but with the new rods and pistons and everything. I don't see why I can't get like at least if I if if I left with like anything if I left with like 530 or more I'd be happy to be completely honest cuz that's still 600 in my book <laughs>
to say we're about three quarters through the tune and that number we was looking for uh how do i put this Sneak peek. Sneak peekums. <laughs> That's what it made. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. So, I didn't reach the number that I wanted, but I did, however, reach a number that was within range of satisfactory. You know what I'm saying? We all have that number that we, you know, that, that's that's our goal, our, our mark. But if we don't get there, there's also that secondary number. So, for me, honestly, um, in my mind, I was thinking like anywhere between uh like 5 30 and like up i was gonna be happy with anything less than that i was not gonna be happy with um with that being said i did not make 600 horsepower but i did make 561 ponies to the wheels hey i'm happy with that man i'm honestly i can honestly say i am happy with that um so basically uh yeah that's the loot you know what i'm saying she's still sitting right there but um so basically what happened was my build is actually capable of about maybe 700 and maybe 60 ish horsepower is what the turbo is rated for. Um, but the long story short of it was uh, I do have stock fuel lines, even though I am running E85, I have stock fuel lines and the stock fuel filter, which was my limiting factor. So he told me, he's like, based on the numbers I'm seeing and the, uh, I got the boost uh, solenoid. He said, based on the uh, percentage, it was that basically, I could have made it easily, easily another 100 horsepower. Easily, he said. So if I wanted to push it, I probably could have made, you know, whatever number I wanted, um, you know, under that 740 mark or whatever, or 780, whatever I just said. Um, but yeah, man, so that was my limiting factor. I am not upset at all. Um, at least I know in the future, if I do want to actually get to that 600 mark literally everything about my build is ready to go i would just have to change my um my fuel lines that's it and that's not really hard to do um but i would have to get retuned if i did it so i'm gonna wait and if i feel i don't based on what i felt so far i don't think i'm gonna need that extra 40 horsepower to be honest with you but um but yeah man obviously you could tell I'm super freaking excited. Those of you who have been with me since like day one, you guys know I've blown a motor and I've just been dealing with a prelude curse after prelude curse after prelude curse and to finally, finally get it, you know, to the point where it's at now, I'm extremely happy. Uh, I am far from done though. So I do have some other plans uh, for the car, obviously, with that amount of horsepower, I am definitely gonna need a different tire setup if I'm gonna even put any of that to the ground. So I'm going from a uh, stance life to, you can already kind of see a preview to what's going on. And is my tire flat? Oh shit, fucking tire's flat. If that ain't a sign, well yeah, 
new tire setup on the way so stay tuned man I, I definitely like I said I got just to give you guys a preview of like the next few things on the list uh, I did already raise it up that's because I'm putting the fat boys on there you know what I'm saying I'm getting new tires all the way around uh, I'm doing a catch can setup because with this amount of horsepower you definitely want a catch can set up get the uh, crankcase pressure where it needs to be with that amount of horsepower um, so we'll be seeing my boy Mike again soon. Those of you who've been on the channel know him. And uh, yeah, man, I got a few other things in store. Um, but another thing I want to touch on a little bit is, uh, you know, the world is kind of crazy right now with uh, the uh, disease that shall not be named. But um, you got to stay safe out there, man. Um, technically, my business is considered uh, an essential business. So... Um, as long as the work is there, I will continue to work because if I don't work, I don't eat. So, um, with that being said, if you guys don't have to leave the house, man, just don't leave the house, man. I mean, even if this is not as serious as you guys think it is, it's always better to be safe than sorry. So, keep that in mind, man. And, and it's not just about you, whether you're at risk or not. You never know who around you is at risk. So, just just keep that in mind, man. Y'all stay safe. Um, stay healthy. Uh, get your vitamin C up, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that, man. But uh, if you guys like the video, like the video, share it, and you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that, and I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.